Hello there, I'm Ian Hood, Chief Technologist with Red Hat. And what I'd like to do today is to share with you some of the exciting things going on related to the edge, 5G, and cloud native architectures. So first off, let's talk about some of those more interesting edge use cases. Now we all know we've got to watch our favorite sports remotely now, but edge computing has been used at the US Open Tennis tournaments, not only for the experience for us, but to process mass quantities of data that tracks the athlete conditions with real-time information for their coaches. And think about all those five setters in blistering heat in New York. Well, a couple of baseball stadiums have also been updated to share real-time video and stats to the fans and to the coaches. If we look out in healthcare, we've actually already started to see edge computing enabling virtual patient care to assist in the completion of medical training at universities. There's also the use of secure multi-compute to share brain scans across multiple hospitals. And we've even got marked smart ambulances, use of drones for the first responders, and for fighting wildfires going on you know, quite a lot here in the United States. These innovations can be coupled with human enhanced machine learning, and they're helping healthcare professionals to make potentially life-saving decisions much faster. Another very interesting area is in gas production and oil with cameras and sensors to validate yield quality, safety conditions, and security. In agriculture, we see touchless processing with optical and thermal sensing to control irrigation, pests, improving crop yields, and my favorite, wine quality. And this is even happening in Margot in France, where we know that they can only use natural irrigation once the vines are three years old. So industry edge applications are really about the movement of workloads being blended with near real-time data computation closer to customers or specialized devices, the robots, the cameras, the sensors, with open cloud native platforms that use microservices. And open source, of course, is driving innovations in both hardware and software enabling these edge services that combine IT, network, AI, ML workloads across a highly distributed architecture optimized with significantly smaller footprints, including ruggedized unmanned locations. The software stack itself is quickly moving towards microservices and containers on bare metal to support the performance, latency, and security of localized processing of the network, IoT, and those AI, ML applications. In some cases, the edge nodes will be optimized compute network and storage with a distributed high performance bus that aggregates the telemetry and metadata over the larger data and applications platform sites. Now, if we look at the network itself, we've got the virtualized radio access network, which is a very specific mobile edge network workload that again has those performance latency and time sensitive requirements. And we've been working very closely in the community, ORAN, with our partners and customers to enable a multi-vendor deployment of 5G that's deployed in containers on bare metal. Now, in many operating environments, the industry mech workloads are going to be deployed alongside the 5G core data plane that's actually upstream from the brand. And that access is being done to simplify networking, security, operational, and network slicing requirements for deploying those enterprise edge services. And many of these locations are going to be unmanned, untrusted locations, and will need to address security by design across zero trust networks with secure boot capabilities and zero touch app application orchestration that spans on-premise, telco cloud, as well as across multiple hyperscaler environments. Now, in addition to abstracting those northbound APIs for the network and the services, we need to you know, have additional innovations to automate the lifecycle management across those cloud environments, including hardware selection, data acceleration for those interesting AI, ML, and time-sensitive applications. Now, we're starting to work with a lot of our customers and partners to architect a really a multi-phase CICD approach for infrastructure configurations that spans the network and compute domains distributed at scale to the edges. And this approach has really paid dividends to some of our customers that have improved their server deployment times by over 50% and has been reducing their overall cost of operations. Now the future of the edge is really focused on a new dynamic and it really encourages new types of worldwide edge services that combine data, 5G, and that human enhanced machine learning to disrupt the norm and this accelerates our industry forward while improving the quality of all our lives around the world.